Hi, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Page of Wands. So I was actually seeing this one when I was shuffling um, as well. So the Page of Wands, to me, I do feel like this is about some form of new creative project. It could be a message coming in for some of you. It might be that there's some news about um, something new in your life, some new creative endeavor, a new creative project. This could be some form of opportunity that's coming in here, especially in this deck, the way that she's dancing. So yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse at the bottom here. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Five of Swords reversed, King of Swords, Let's get a confirmation for the Page of Wands. Messages for, so, so there's that Ten of Pentacles again. So it wants to come out. So the Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. So some of you, you might be getting some news from a family member. Um, there could be some news here involving family. There could be some news connected to, uh, it could even be marriage. It connected to something that you're going to find out about here. I am seeing we have the Tower with the Three of Swords at the bottom. So let's keep clarifying here. What's going on this week, Spirit? Tell me about the Page of Wands. Okay, there it is again. Three of Swords. And we have the Star. So, some of you, you know, there may be some news here coming in um, with the Three of Swords. There's a couple ways we can look at this. I feel like for some of you, there's a message coming in from somebody here that maybe you are wanting to heal something with, or this person may want to heal something for, with you. Okay, it could also be that there has been some news, though, that has hurt you, or you have, maybe there's been some form of communication here um, that you either want to communicate or that somebody wants to communicate to you here, but there has been some hurt, there's been some pain, um, especially if, if you've been married to this person, if you have a family with this person, or if this is a family member. But I do feel like with that star, though, it's coming through to, to tell you here that there's some form of hope here that you have to have. There's, there's a healing, there's a hope here. And so that's why I feel with this page of wands in the upright position, this is definitely more of a positive news for you. This is some form of positive communication or positive message, but it just could be attached to healing heartbreak, or it could be attached to something that you maybe have been, you know, dealing with it that you've been feeling hurt about here. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups reverse. So it's almost like there's a feeling here of wanting to make amends or make some form of resolution here with something. And it might be that this is somebody who, again, you share a family with or somebody who might be going through their own struggles when it comes to family. What's going on for the collective spirit? Okay. Nine of Cups reversed. Interesting energy. Magician reversed. Two of Cups. What's coming in this week? Collective. The Hermit reversed. So... Let's go ahead and get an oracle card here to confirm this. Because it's almost like there's a feel, <clears throat> excuse me, there's also, there's almost like there's a feeling here with the nine of cups and the hermit both being in reverse that there's, yeah, I keep seeing this blind spots. Um, it's like there's a blind spot here to a wish fulfillment or a wish coming true. So some of you may not know that this is happening or you may feel like you're in the dark about something here or something that you're connected to is maybe wanting to confront you or wanting to come through to you, but they feel like there's no hope here or that there's a feeling of them not having their wish come true or not being in alignment here. So I feel like there's, there's a blind spot here. What are the messages for the collective this week?
Yeah, there you go. Unnecessary fear. So that's what it is. So there's some form of unnecessary fear that's coming up right now. So whoever this is, either you or somebody else, and I actually feel like it is connected to, right, like we started the reading, um, wanting to reach out, wanting to maybe send a message, wanting to communicate, wanting to spark something new. It could be also that you have somebody new in your life, or this is some new connection or some new friend even. Um, and I feel like it could be starting off very passionate, very young, very, very open, very vibrant. But there's a feeling here with that three of swords, nine of cups reverse that you can't have what you want. Or there's a feeling of not believing in this somehow or not, like it says here, unnecessary fear. So there's some form of fear that's coming from a place of being ungrounded. It's coming from a place of not being you know, uh, uh, rooted in yourself. Okay. So with this nine of cups and the hermit, when really I feel like with this, with the star, um, there's a lot of hope here. There's a lot of renewal. There's a lot of wishful energy that's actually, uh, coming through for you, but it's all about the way that you perceive something. So if some of you are struggling this week to see something in a positive, um, uh, outlook, then this is a message for you to go deeper within yourself here, do some meditation and really some manifestation work as well, because there's, there's definitely a feeling here of almost like putting something to rest before it even happens. And that's why I feel that this could be either triggered by a message or a meeting of some kind, or this is about wanting to send a message. If, if you resonate with that, you maybe want to reach out to somebody or you want to repair something here, or somebody wants to reach out to you. And I remember now we have that magician reversed with the two of cups beneath it. So it does feel like this is about a partnership or a relationship of some sort. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it could be. And somebody just feels like they don't have the tools here. They don't, they can't manifest this or they don't, they're not believing in themselves here. Okay. Yeah. See, eight of swords reversed. Um, the hanged man, four of pentacles is beneath this. So there's a lot of holding back right now out of fear. And for whoever this is for, Spirit wants to say to really let go of the fear, let go of the unnecessary fear, because there's more support here than you realize. There's more hope than you realize with something. And this Three of Swords is just a mentality. It's just a mental energy. Swords are mental. So it's about releasing the fear of either being hurt, of taking a chance, taking a risk, and not bringing into it our pain, maybe connected here to our past. Or connected to the opinions of other people is what I'm getting as well. What are the messages for the collective this week? Okay, we have mischief and play. And we have here a school of flowers creating through the ashes. What are the messages for the collective this week? exploring wildness yeah so this is about taking chances for sure with exploring wildness and we have here the trick-or-treat mischief and play even though these can be a little bit um you can look at it from both ways you know it could definitely be that there's a level here of acting irresponsibly or doing something mischievous here i do feel like though this is saying that there's unnecessary fear so However, this is for you. If you have an offer coming in, for example, this week, and maybe you feel like you're very afraid of it, you feel like you don't want to let loose and just accept it. Maybe you feel like you doubt yourself. Maybe you feel insecure. Maybe you feel like you're, there's pain involving this. Um, maybe this is a specific family, family member or somebody that you have a romantic connection with. Now we're in the past. I could reach out to you here and you feel like it's too good to be true or it's not going to happen here or you have some form of um, wish that you, you don't believe in. And I feel like spirit wants you to say that at the moment, just try to enjoy, try to enjoy the wildness, even if it's temporary, it's kind of just about not, not attaching expectation or attaching fear to something right now. And so this is somebody here wants to explore their wild side, or they want to explore something new or something like this the way that this woman is is kind of dancing here this is about vitality and vibrancy and, and doing something out of the box and so for whatever reason the ten of pentacles is attached here so let's get a confirmation for the ten of pentacles because i feel like it could be that there's some limitations involving family here 
but the message is really to release fear. The message is to release any type of um, self-limiting behavior that we have on ourselves right now and to know that our dreams are supported and whatever is coming through for us that seems like it's it's new, it's fresh, it's vibrant. Um, again, it could be a message. Just to trust that this is actually something this is something that you should explore, even if it's, you know, it's, it's just about kind of being in the moment, I feel. So what's going on with this um, Ten of Pentacles spirit for the collective this week? Yeah, this is about wanting to explore. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Two of Wands reverse. So somebody here has made a decision or they're trying to make a decision here to explore. We have the Nine of Pentacles here, Ace of Cups reverse, the Fool in reverse. Yeah, there's the Fool reversed, Three of Pentacles reverse. So there's a feeling here of not being available to take chances. There's so many different um, scenarios and so many different messages coming through here. So just for some of them, though, I feel like there's there's something here about being trapped in a situation, perhaps somebody here and feeling like they don't have um, they they have not been available here with Ace of Cups reverse, Fool in reverse. There's been a lack of um, nourishment. There's been a lack of vitality. There's been a lack of excitement in somebody's life. And I feel like with this Nine of Pentacles, they are deciding here. I say they, but I'm just saying they for a general term because I'm not sure who it is. Um, is is making a decision to come out of a crossroads and to come out of a, a fear and to take a wild chance, I feel, with this Three of Wands because we do have this here. And there's a lot of question about this. There's a lot of fear about this. And for most of you, I feel like it is about family since that came through and I clarified this. This is about either letting go of the limitations that we've placed upon ourselves from family or from the way that it should be, or the norm, and embracing this werewolf energy, even for a moment, just to explore something, and just to take a risk, take a chance, and so I feel like, yes, there could be a level of mischief about this, there could be a level of um, play about this here, but it feels more innocent, it feels more like something that we're actually being encouraged to do, or somebody's being encouraged to do this, in order to get out of a feeling of um, a lack here, get out of a feeling of not having what we want uh, we're not believing in ourselves here. So there's a decision that's being made, even though it has not been taken, the action has not been taken yet with the three of wands. This is about making a choice to leave behind maybe a, uh, it could be leave behind a whole relationship for some of you or for somebody, <laughs> or it could just be leaving behind our patterns from the past year and moving forward into this new energy. Yeah. Page of pentacles and the six of wands. This is all about victory. This is all about success, believing that we can um, achieve something here. Six of Pentacles. So this could be something being offered, um, like, a, like a, an equal give and take here, even a gift for some of you. What are the messages for the collective this week? King of Wands. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, but this is somebody who will take action. This is somebody who's ready to take action, somebody who's ready to step into their full power here. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, I'm not sure what the word is here, but there's a lot of feelings of really stepping into this werewolf energy, which again, I don't think is a bad thing because I'm not getting it to be a bad thing. I'm getting it to be more of just this feeling of not being afraid. This lion is right behind him here and he's not afraid. He's taking control here. So I feel this is just not about living in fear. Let's look at the werewolf and the mischief here. What is this about? Yeah, it's really passionate energy. So for some of you, I'm... This may not resonate with all of you, but I'm getting for some of you, this is somebody who wants to really rush in passionately towards you. And this is either something that is forbidden or it's something that is frowned upon or maybe, you know, maybe again, there has, there's a, there's another factor here. Somebody does have to leave behind something else. Two of Pentacles uh, reverse, King of Pentacles here, Five of Swords reverse. We have the Empress and we have the King of Wands. So there's a very strong magnetic 
tie between two people. And I do feel like for some of you, this is about a twin flame connection or a divine counterpart, soulmate, whatever it is. And this werewolf, Knight of Wands, really wants to express their passion. And they have fear about this. Or you have fear about accepting this or vice versa. But I do think that this is just, like I said a few times, I feel like this is really just about embracing the moment. And however you kind of want to see it, it's, it all depends on your own outlook. I mean, there could be other components here that would make it kind of irresponsible to do this. But that's just what I'm getting here. Five of Swords in reverse. So coming out of the mental confusion, this is a self-confusion. This is, I don't feel... I don't feel for most of you that this is other people. It could be for some, but I think this is more about a feeling of our own self being confused here. And somebody feels this way. I feel like it's the King of Wands, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Seven of Cups reverse and the Sun in reverse. There's been a lot of, a lot of emotional confusion here. Here's the Two of Cups. So this is definitely, I feel, about a relationship. We do have the Devil beneath it. Let's see what else we have. And this Empress is Divine Feminine here energy. Somebody very loving, very nurturing. Somebody looks very good. I feel like this is probably for most of you, this is you. Um, and I feel like that you're in a really good position right now, which is making you very attractive to somebody specific here. And it could be multiple people. We'll just take it however it resonates with you. But What are the messages for the collective? I mean, this could just be simply about exploring what you have right now. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we have the apple, risk and reward. I'm telling you, there's a very tempting energy here. This is kind of like the, the... It's not a bad apple, but it's an apple that you you bite into at your own risk. Okay, there's a very sexual energy coming through here as well for somebody. Definitely. So this King of Wands wants to, they want to explore mischief here. They want to explore this passion, this werewolf. And the Empress, I feel you're either afraid of this, you don't trust it. Maybe you have a good reason to, maybe you don't. So what's coming in? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. This is a very, there's a new offer coming in. And I do feel that with the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, it is quite solid. Um, we have the Five of Cups reversed, Six of Cups reversed. Okay. Yeah, beneath this here, we have the Underworld where all things pause and begin again with forgiveness beneath that. Five of Cups reversed. There's a new offer coming in here. And I feel that for some, this is something brand new. And you are trying to release your fears because of what has happened to you in the past, because of the pain that you've already been through in a previous relationship, in a previous marriage, maybe even childhood traumas, childhood childhood wounds here and you have something very maybe passionate coming in for you it might be quick moving and this is going to cause you to need to kind of step outside of your own box here and to take maybe something that appears risky to you but it's going to have a lot of reward for you because it's going to push you outside of your comfort zone and it's going to allow you to release whatever you have to release from the past this is for one group of you here and this is going to allow you to release your pain from the past here and to really just um, I'm getting a very um, earthy kind of sensual energy with the Empress to take it all in and to just be in the moment here because where everything ends, something new begins with this pomegranate and the Ace of Pentacles. This is something very, very solid actually that's coming in from the King of Wands for a lot of you, but it's going to require you again to release your fears, release your burdens 
and to have more trust right now in the universe that's bringing this to you. That's for one group. And then for the other group, this is somebody else who is doing this. This is the King of Wands in that case, who I feel is one, especially if they're masculine, um, who is trying to release their fears from the past to come through because they see you as very, uh, very magnetic right now, very passionate, and they are wanting to be very passionate about you and to really rush in. And I feel like they may have a lot of fears about doing this because again, they have their own stuff that they're going through. They're not sure if they can trust this. They're not sure if they can trust this chance because maybe they do have something else going on for some of you and they have to leave that behind. It could just be work. It could be material stuff in order to kind of step outside of their box and do things differently and to get out of confusion and to really just take control and not have not be in fear about this. Okay. Yeah, two of swords reversed. Having to let go of the um, confusion that we place upon ourselves here. So let's just get a few more. Yeah, inner wisdom. So a lot of you, you're having, there's a lot of intuitive knowing right now about what's going on. So you would probably know this intuitively, or you just feel like it's about time for this. And for the third group of you, I mean, this could definitely be about just your career. It could be about something that you really want to embark on right now. And again, it's going to kind of require you to, to take a bold action, to take a bold move and to bite into this tempting apple, maybe in a way that feels risky or it feels, you know, feels too good to be true here. But it really feels to me like what I'm getting into, like this is all about our own unnecessary fear and we have to take a chance here and do things that, you know, we can't just keep doing the same thing. What are the messages for the collective this week, October 5th to October 12th? Yeah, act now, see? Jade. So this is about acting now. Lots of action will be taken, I feel, from whoever's part this is. There's going to be action coming in. We have mindfulness, watermelon. We have energy of the ancients. We have gold, abundance. Yeah, ace of pentacles, abundance. We have red merlot, relationships. So for most, it is probably about love. Um, but it's promising both abundance and relationship here. We have deep perspective and we have inner strength and immunity. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of inner strength, a lot of inner courage to do this. But there's a lot of feelings here of um, with this Jade Act now, energy of the ancients, mindfulness. Mindfulness to me is giving me the same energy as just being in the moment, just doing things for the moment and it may sound irresponsible for some people, but that's just really about the way that you look at it. And I feel like the, that's what this is about here. So taking the energy, inner strength and immunity and just acting on this here. So any other messages for the collective this week? Any other messages for the collective? Prosperity, a prosperous business with riches and success. So we do have gold here. We have abundance. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a prosperous offer coming in that I feel is going to promise both, obviously, a relationship, could be a business partner for some, um, and gold and abundance, wealth. And it's going to require, though, action now. It's going to require this strength here. We have healing, true healing of the mind, body, and soul. Okay. What else is coming in for the collective this week? We have one enchanted evening, the perfect night. Ooh, so there's something about a perfect night here. Tree of life, the true, the true wisdom and making good choices in life. Okay.
So let's just close it up here. I'm going to get one more message from here. Any other messages for the collective for the week of October 5th to October 12th? What's coming in? What is this all about, Spirit? for the collective this week yes wow look at that ambition and power strong leadership action here with the king of wands so this is a very powerful time to take action if this is about you um and you have something that you really have your look at this bow and arrow here whatever you want right now you have a lot of ambition you have a lot of drive behind you and whatever this goal is it's very abundant it's very much at this gold ace of pentacles here it's going to be very prosperous. It's going to be very um, something very passionate that you're very passionate about, the person, a relationship, uh, a job, both. And it's going to really, again, require some form of biting into this apple here and doing things that maybe you would not normally do. Okay. Lots of power here. We have beauty. So we do have here beauty. We have trickster. So I feel like for some of you, let's clarify this trickster. Because like I said, I think it's going to be something kind of risky here. But I don't necessarily get a trickster vibe from this. Let me clarify the trickster here. What's coming in? Nine of Wands. It's going to require you to be on guard, that's for sure. It's going to require you to, um, yeah, we have the moon with the Nine of Cups. So there's a very, it, again, it kind of feels like very tempting, very romantic, very sexual, maybe for some of you if that resonates. If not, it's just very... What's the word? Knight of Cups and the Moon. It's very... I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but it's it's very tempting, I guess. Um, and I do think that there's some components here that are going to require you to kind of just trust your intuition with this is what I'm getting because for some I feel like there's just quite a bit of wounded energy that you've been going through and it's about releasing your fear here fear here and doing what you feel is best this just keeps coming out the two of cups but there's going to be more to the story if this is a love offer there's more to the story and you have to use your own discernment to to figure that out here we have the four of wands in this position here so yeah it might be that there's a feeling of stepping outside of stability for this or somebody's doing this or there's a lack of stability with this offer coming in because it is this werewolf energy okay but just take it day by day if this if this does happen for you and to really just listen to your intuition listen to your heart and just do what you feel is best for you in the moment but remember to Remember to also kind of balance between taking a chance and being overly guarded and overly protected, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, to a sword reversed. Coming out of our own fears. Okay, so let's get the final message from this, this deck here. What is the final message for the collective this week? this week okay. 
Okay, so it says, from your soul's perspective, this life is just a page in the never-ending story where you and those around you all have a specific role to play. Yet remember, this role is not the real you, for you are much more than your personality and current circumstances. Your true immortal self cannot be defined. We do have here, something that you love may be coming to an end, and it's only natural for you to be saddened. However, this ending also provides a new beginning. All unfolds for your highest good. Life is full of transformation, and with the new beginning comes a new chapter in the story that is you. So, like I said earlier, there's two different kind of groups of you here. For those of you who are trying to release something else from your past that you know is not for you, this is going to be something that's going to kind of come through and trigger some fear for you, most likely in the form of a relationship or a very passionate encounter. And it's going to help you to get out of your fear. It's going to help you to get out of your own, your, your past. But this is kind of coming with a bittersweet energy because you do have to release something else or somebody here has to release something else. And it's going to allow for a new beginning here because I still don't really feel like this is entirely bad. It kind of feels more like it's something that is pushing us, pushing us forward in a way that is powerful and, um, ambitious here or very passionate but with this three of swords we've already been through this pain so obviously it's going to have some form of twist to it i feel to where we have to we have to let go of that pain we have to let go of that fear um and to embrace something new that seems very scary for us or it seems like it's something that forces us to be somebody that we maybe previously were not but we have to trust that and then for those of you you know it might be that this is somebody who here who's going to come through and maybe show you their true colors but it's going to be that's going to be the group of you where you know in your intuition that this is something that would be very short-lived it's something that would be very um passionate maybe but you know that you should not go there and this is kind of about you stepping into your power here and doing the right thing but i'm kind of getting both both energies here so <clears throat> Okay, so I just pulled this one here. You are protected by a higher power that also wants to help you. If the past seems blocked, there is a good cause. Take this as divine intervention, a sign from above, and wait. When the time is right, all flows with ease. So you will know when to flow. You're, you're going to know within your intuition how to flow with this, how to go about this, and how to move through. Spirit is protecting you, so you don't have to worry about this because they are protecting you with whatever this is about. Okay, so I hope that this reading could help you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you soon. All right, much love, much love, much love.